What's up guys, Dan from Laser Everything here, doing a quick video on the micro step driver or stepper drivers. Uh, your stepper drivers could be the culprit of some vibration, a loud noise, your stepper's not moving, something like that. So this quick video will be a little bit of troubleshooting on if you have one of those issues, uh, determining whether it's this or not, how to adjust this or how to replace it if necessary. All right, ideally before you guys get started on this, please look up the details on your motors because the motors, um, the manufacturer for your motor is going to tell you the amperage that is compatible with it, as well as ideally a step length or the proper setting, the pulse per revolution. And you're gonna to wanna to pick the number closest to it. Normally it's gonna be a division of one of these. So please just remember to check that because there is a way, if you set the amperage too high on your motor, you could fry it or damage it. You really want, don't wanna do that. Now, if you for some reason cannot get the specs for your motor, they don't exist, you can't pull it up, the numbers are gone, start at the lowest because you can't, you have less risk hurting your motor if you start with lower amperage rather than fry it with something too high. All right, so your drivers are gonna look something like this. They're gonna have a chart here on the front, pins down the side, and then dip switches. These dip switches will be on the side, on the top, or on the bottom. These drivers can be different sizes, different configurations, look a little bit different, but generally they're all gonna be the same. They're gonna have these charts here. This chart could be external in some sort of a manual, um, on the back, somewhere on the packaging, but normally it's gonna be on the front just like this. It's gonna have two charts. The bottom one here is amperage, so how much power you're gonna to give to your stepper motors. And the top here is pulses per revolution. Uh, number of step divisions really is what it is. So we're gonna divide the step by 32, by 16, by eight, by four. This is basically like the gear on your bicycle. That's how you can sort of look at that. These pins going down the side, these signal pins here are coming from your controller. These four pins, the A plus, A minus, B plus, B minus, this is going to your motor. Those four are telling your motor what to do. And then uh, the VCC and ground here, those are just the power that actually drives the driver itself, powers it up. So there's two typical issues that you could have uh, that are directly related to the drivers. One of which is a large vibration when moving the axis back and forth. Um, you're not, that's going to be a little bit less common, but it's, it's still a problem where you're going to hear like a large uh, grinding or some sort of vibration. You think something's wrong, something's getting caught up or it's your belts, but it could be the drivers. And the second of which is a jumping of the belts where um, you just hear this, the, the axis is not moving. You hear a loud sound, you're, it's like it's skipping. And that, I'll just show you here. So it starts to go, and then you can hear it skip and it stops. It's very bad for the whole system, the, uh, the belts, the guides and everything. The reason for that issue, the one where it's skipping, is typically due to having too low of amperage. So this second chart here has to do with amperage. I happen to know that the this particular uh, motor takes one amp, or it happens to work best on one amp. Um, if you exceed two, that's far too much for this particular motor, but yours might be a little bit different. So this second chart here has to do with switch four, five, and six. The switches are labeled here, six, five, four, three, two, one. So if I want to give it a single amp, I want on, off, on. On is down. It shows you here whether on is down or up. So on, so I want five to be off. So I'm just going to click that one off, we'll give that a shot, instantly fix the problem. So we've given the motor double the power, and now we have nice and smooth, zero skipping. So that, that one's normally quite simple to change. All right, the other issue you can have is that vibration coming from when you move a motor back and forth, or the axis back and forth. You have a loud noise or a vibration coming from the motors or from the, uh, the carriage itself. That can often be this first chart here. So again, this chart is sort of like the gear on your bicycle. If you have it set incorrectly, it can be really hard to pedal. And the same thing with the motor. If you have it set wrong, it actually, it's possible it won't even move. So on this first NC here, um, this is no pulse, no signal. The, the motor's not going to move. Uh, when you go down here, each of these is a subdivision of uh, steps. So the first is divided by one. It's not, it's not div divided at all. So the last one here is divided by 32. So each pulse is divided so that it's going to take more pulses to uh, obtain a full re revolution. So you can see 6,400 here. It's going to take 6,400 pulses 
to turn the motor one time when if you have it set on one here it's going to only take 200 pulses to turn that motor one time so it's the difference between 200 pulses or 6400 pulses is huge in that 6400 pulses is going to be very easy to turn that motor because each pulse is only turning it a tiny tiny amount when 200 it might be very hard to turn that motor so i'm going to show the difference here by playing with the different settings and showing you how it sort of affects the motors all right so i've got it set for 200 pulses per revolution here so it's only going to send 200 motor pulses to turn the motor one time and you can hear it's an extremely loud noise same exact amperage i have not messed with the amperage it's getting the proper amperage for the motor but that step just does not vibe with these motors at all um, you can see that going back and forth the uh, the other way is totally fine because right now i actually have this set to five millimeters a second of course the one axis that i changed i only changed the one driver extremely loud but getting the same amperage and it obviously not moving at five it's moving much faster and the reason why is because we told it to it's only going to take 200 pulses per revolution but the software is calculating at i think 800 or 1600 so it's moving much faster because it's getting a, the software has a different uh, calculation in it but obviously the setting is not going to work at all so if you hear a vibration like that know that it could be that setting that someone either messed with that or you got your laser and it's incorrect for your stepper motors all right guys so i hope that quick video helped you troubleshoot some of the noise or the vibration that you have going on with your machine if you have any questions at all or you can't figure something out please drop a line in the comments send me a dm i'd be happy to help or to give you whatever advice i can but just remember not to overpower your motors ideally you want to look it up before starting this process or before messing with any settings uh, but with that happy engraving